In a digital age, children have more access to potential distractions than ever before, but how is that affecting their development? A new study released this week shares how screen time is putting a pause on toddler learning. And we spoke with experts about the effects of too much screen time. Our teachers do use um, screen time with children. Um, it's part of our educational curriculum. However, it's done with intent. According to researchers and educators in Western Mass, screen time has time and place in toddlers' lives, but it's minimal. Educare is an early childhood care center in downtown Springfield that faces every facet of their child care off of data. A recent study on young minds and media led to conversations with caregivers. We use data also to show them and not to use it in a punitive way, but to say, well, this is what the science says. This is what we're observing. Those observations show atypical sensory processing. Educare Springfield Executive Director Nikki Burnett tells Western Mass News their curriculum requires students to learn by playing. They also encourage caregivers to look out for other outlets. Here are other opportunities. Here are other suggestions for you. Educare recommends that parents and caregivers encourage drawing or reading instead of entertaining their children with a screen. As a last resort, Mara Charzio from the HCS Head Start tells Western Mass News there's a way to work in intentional screen time. If they are going to expose their children to screen media, select high quality content from um, me social media such as um, Sesame Workshops, PBS, the public television network, has offers great um, high quality content as well. And most importantly, be there to interact. Research shows even adult consumption of media affects younger minds. When we think about screen time, we just think about, you know, you're on an iPad, you're on a phone, you're in front of the television. But really when we think about the sensory of children and how we're trying to build learning minds, we're trying to build a habit of learning, right? And if we have that background noise as a young child, two years old and less, what does that do to them? According to studies by both the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Journal of the American Medical Association, constant stimulation from screens and media stunts social skills development. Many caregivers see a screen as a chance to regroup while their toddler is entertained, but that's where the real damage lies. Charzio points out unmonitored screen time can expose children to sensitive and age inappropriate content. We need to make sure that um, when we're using screen time with children that we're tying it into the real world and that's where those learning opportunities can happen. And experts say sensory processing impacts can come in the form of delayed communication or problem-solving skills.